All right all, welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies. Just a quick little video for you guys. Now, just recently I've had several messages asking me about what slicing programs and what settings I run on certain printers that I have. Now at the moment I am strictly just using Creality printers because that is literally all I've got here at the moment. So what I have been doing is I have been using Creality's own slicing software, which is just a reskin of Cura. So if you're used to using Cure, it'll be no different. But the good thing about this is they already have set up mostly all of the base settings that you'll need for the printers. So I'd give this a go, try, I'd give, this, I'd give this a go, guys. So what you want to head to is Creality.com. And you're going to want to go to Support and Download. And then what you're going to do is Software. And you want to give Creality Slicer 4.8.2 ago so download this guys so once you've got that downloaded you will then open up the program and you're going to be greeted with something that looks very similar to this uh, you'll obviously need to put in your printer first that will ask you to add your printer so as you can see here I've got many quality printers set up so you just want to go into add a printer now if you look Creality have actually taken the time to add near enough every single Creality printer that they make. Now, I'd only recommend using this for Creality machines. If you're using a different brand, I would probably just use Cura. But so you can then just go through the list of Creality printers and select whichever printer that is you have bought. And then you obviously click Add. And once you've added your printer, you'll then see it appear up the top here in the left. Now, what I don't like about this is then all your settings are all then set up. Now you see I've got the, the Smart Pro set up here which is running the new Sprite Direct Drive Extruder and it has already gone ahead and set up the retraction settings and the retraction speed for me. And so far these base settings have been proven to be, proven to be very, very good. I've had some very, very good results. Now if you want to slightly tweak them yourselves, you then can, but you have got all the base settings that you can possibly need in this slicer so i would go ahead and just give Creality slicer 4.8.2 a go just to see if you can get some better results i mean it's not a matter of just downloading a program if you're used to like say using cura then you're going to find this no different at all whatsoever but this is well worth a try especially well like i say i've got all Creality machines in here at the moment so this is my go-to slicing firmware slicing software sorry and I always show you the prints and they're always, always, always sliced using this program. So you can see the prints that I've been producing are actually good. So I've just been using, like say, the base settings that already come pre-installed with the program. So yeah, guys, just a short little video just to say give Quality Slicer a go. And I think you'll find you'll get some really, really good results. Anyway, guys, that's it for me for waffling on for this one. I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!